We, um, today we're going to look at this problem here, sample problem 2.50. You have the solution, my handwritten solution here, but let's just, just continue through a video and explain the logic behind it. So 2-50, the uniform rectangular relief gate, AB, has a weight of 8,000 pounds and a width of 4 feet. So it's 4 feet into the page or into the screen. Determine the minimum depth, H of water within the container needed to open it. So you want to open it. So how much force, it's hinged here, how much water here is going to open this gate? Basically overcome the force of gravity, this 8,000 pounds. The gate is pinned at B and rests on a rubber, pinned at B and rests at a rubber seal on A. So I've drawn a free body diagram here one the gate and two the free body diagram. So here's the gate, the wall, your HB is your height to the pivot point uh, B. You've got your overall height. You've got this 30 degree angle on this gate here, or the gate here, and the gate is, I believe, yeah, six feet long. So here's six feet. Okay. So really we're looking for how much force, how much height of water will apply, apply sufficient force to lift the gate off the rubber seal right here. So if I go down and I draw a free body diagram, what is explaining in class is the typical way you do something like this is you get your LP along this from here to some point in here, some unknown. The, the trouble with that is you end up with a cubic function and really what your best your best approach is to break this pressure trapezoid I've driven here or drawn here into two really two think of it in terms of two different um, pressure forces acting so you can think of it if you break it into the pressure at B which applies all the way along here Okay, well we know that that one, that force acts at the center, right? Because this is a constant force. First of all, let's sit back for a second. You know the, the pressure on the gate is a pressure, what I call a pressure trapezoid, right? Like, comes here, you've got a certain pressure, and as you move along here, you get more and more pressure. But that pressure trapezoid can be broken into the pressure at B, just the constant pressure there, plus this pressure triangle. The reason you want to do it this way is because the pressure triangle, you know, it's going to act at four feet, right? Which is two thirds of six feet. And this one here is going to act at three feet. So let me just write three feet here, three feet. And then if I continue up here, sorry for my very bad writing, but I find this tablet really hard to write on. So this here is six feet at least right neatly. Okay, so if we want to solve it with your LC equals LP, that, that fancy formula there, the trouble is you end up with a cubic function. And, um, I mean, give it a try. You, you'll see what I'm talking about. But, but basically, let's start to look at this problem in terms of this constant pressure here, PB, and then the additional pressure of going from PB to PA. Okay, let me call this PA here. Okay, so we know that HB here, HB equals H minus sine 30 degrees 6 feet, right? Which equals H minus 3. Okay, so that gives us the height right there in terms of h. And you know sine 30 degrees is half, right? So then your Fp, B, sorry, I shouldn't say that, your pressure at B. Let's look at it in terms of, I'm going to call this Fp1, and we're going to call this Fp2. Okay, the one acting at four feet and the one acting at three feet right here. I'm sorry, this is terrible. Okay. Let's try that there. Okay, so FP1 
equals it's going to be, recall it's your average pressure times your area. Well, what's my average pressure on this constant pressure? Well, it's the pressure at B, right? So it's your pressure at B times the area. What's PB? PB is equal to, let's say, it, so it's going to be gamma HBA, which is going to be 62.4 pounds per, hold on, pounds per feet cube because it's water. Okay, your HB is going to be equal to H minus 3. And then your area is going to be 4 feet times 6 feet, right? 4 feet's the depth, 6 feet is the length of the gate, okay? So this all equals, if you do the math, 1497.6 H minus 4492.8. Okay, so that is what? Let me clean that up a little. 4492.8. There we go. Okay, now if you just want to figure out this pressure trapezoid, pressure triangle here, you really need to look at the delta between the pressure at A and the pressure at B. And so this is going to be FP2, okay? FP2 equals PAVG times your area, right? Really, your average pressure is PA, subtract PB, PB times your area. But if you think about it, this PB here, in terms of this additional pressure triangle, is actually zero. So really we're just looking at the additional pressure from here to here. And so this equals gamma water H, I'm going to call it HC A, where HC, sorry, HC is right here, equals sine 30 degrees 6 feet which equals 3 feet. Okay, so this equals 62.4 pounds per feet cubed times 3 feet times 4 feet times 6 feet. And that equals 22.46.4 46.4 pounds. Okay, and that's going to act at this. Hmm. That should not be 6 feet. That should be 4 feet. Sorry about that. 4 feet. So that acts at the 4 foot mark. Okay, so now when you think about it, and the one thing I did forget to draw here is your is your weight, is your 8,000 pound. This is your force gravity acting at the middle here. Okay, so now we've got, we've got this force and the pressure, this constant pressure here, PB. And we know where it acts because we've broken up our pressure prism into a constant pressure and a, and a, a triangular pressure. Um, so then we've got our FP2. That's this pressure triangle here. We know where it acts. So we've eliminated really uh, H in terms of length this way. Um, and now we're just looking to find out at what point, what height H. Will these two forces be sufficient to lift the gate? So how are we now going to figure out 
what H is. So we're going to take the moments. Let me just break this off here. We're going to take the moment about B. We're going to set it equal to 0. And we're going to solve for H. And the H variable is going to be in this equation right here from FP1. <coughs> And once we do the calculation, everything, you'll see that H comes out to 5.62 feet. So let's just do sigma MB equals 0 equals your, remember, we take po counterclockwise is positive, right? So we take your FG, so negative FG, cos 30 degrees, because it has to be the portion that acts perpendicular to from the point it acts to B. So it has to be, we have to take this component here. Okay. So we've got negative FG cos 30 times the distance, which is 3 feet, plus FP1 3 feet. That's this force right here at 3 feet. Plus FP2 at 4 feet. And recall that those are acting in this direction, so they're positive. Your force of gravity is acting this way, which is negative. So now we're going to sub in negative 8,000 pounds cos 30 degrees, 3 feet, plus 1, sorry, 1, 4, 9, 7, 6, H, minus 4, 4, 9, 2, point 8, 2, point 8, all that times 3 feet, and then plus 2246.4 pounds times 4 feet. And when you, I'll let you do the exercises uh, to solve for H, but you will find that H equals 5.62 feet. So when H, this value here, equals 5.62 feet, there will be just enough pressure on an 8,000 pound gate <coughs> to lift it, to get it to come off its rubber seal at H. And that is how you solve this problem. Send me an email if you have any questions.